So if you're having problems with your Linux Mint here and uh, you're having troubles with booting it, well, there are a few things that you may want to do here. Now, first things first is you want to boot from a live USB or to inspect the system first. So start your computer with a live USB stick or DVD that has Linux Mint on it. So choose try Linux Mint instead of installing it. And basically this lets your access your system without putting into the problem OS. Now you'll be able to check files, partitions, and logs. Now next is you want to check or maybe check your BIOS or UFI settings for proper boot mode. Now you want to go to your system's BIOS or UFI and see whether you're using UFI or legacy CMS, CSM mode. Then ensure it matches how Linux Mint was installed. And the disk partition table like GPTN or MBR also disable secure boot or fast boot if they are interfering. Many issues trace back to mismatches around here. Now also you may want to repair the bootloader or grab if it's lost or misconfigured. Now once you're in the live session, you want to go install and run a tool like boot repair or manually mount your root partition and run commands to reinstall grub or update grub. So or so that your system boots uh, systems bootloader knows where to load Linux Mint. Now this stuff often fixes the nothing happens or grub prompt issues. Now, in the live session, you should also check your disk health, smart data, and run a file system check or FSC, FSCK on the partition. So if the disk is fading or the system, uh, file system is damaged, no amount of bootloader repair will permanently fix it. Now, after you've repa uh, repaired the settings and bootloader here, reboot your computer normally, removing the USB, and see if Linux Mint boots correctly. Now, if it does, you're done here if not you may need to reinstall with backups already here or consider deeper hardware or driver issues and that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching